Hi guys, today we're going to be making tie-dye cupcakes and um, I'm going to, right now I'm going to tell you the ingredients you need, the basic ingredients and um, I'm not going to tell you like the utensils, like the bowls and stuff you'll need, I'm just going to tell you the ingredients. So you're going to want a baking pan of course with cupcake liners um, and preferably a white cupcake liner so they can see through them. You'll need a white cake, I'm using Betty Crocker Super Moist Vanilla. You'll need two um, things of white frosting, I'm just using vanilla, and you'll need food coloring. I'm, I got neon and just plain colors. Okay, so I've made my cake mix, and you can find the directions on how to make your cake mix on the back of your box, so I didn't really need to show you how to do that. But um, there's my cake mix, and now I have six bowls out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I, here's all my um, food colors. And what I'm going to do is take my um, cake mix and I'm going to divide it evenly among the six bowls. So once you've done that, you're going to um, well actually divide your um, cake mix evenly into your six bowls and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've divided up my cake mix into my six bowls, and now I'm going to start coloring them. So this is my red. I just used my red um, food coloring. I used about 10 to 12 drops, I think, and it came out to be this really pretty red. And now you're going to make an orange, yellow, green, blue, and I'm probably going to do like this pinkish purple color. So um, now, uh, so you divided it up, and now you're going to food color each of them and I'll show you what to do once you put all of your colors together. Okay, so now I've divided um, all six of my icing and I colored them so they're red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And the purple is kind of hard to um, mix but because it kind of looks a little gray. But yeah, the food colors I was using, as you can see at the beginning of the video, those work really well. Look how pretty the blue is. Ooh. Okay, so now the, um, you're going to take your baking sheet with your cupcake pans, and um, you're going to take a teaspoon. Teaspoon. says right there. And you're going to spoon um, each layer in. So here I'm going to do the first one. First I'm going to take my red. I'm going to take a teaspoon of red, and I'm going to put it in the cupcake. The next I'll do orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then it should be about halfway full. So I'll show you when I'm done with the red layer. Alright, so I finished my red layer. They do not in any way have to be perfect. But here's like what one looks like. It's not completely full, as you can see, because I think one teaspoon might be a little lean, but I, I don't know. I've never made these, but um, yeah, so there's what the red looks like. And now I'm going to move on to my orange, and I'm just going to put it on top of it. And then you're going to do the same with the yellow, and the green, and the blue, and the purple. And I'll show you each layer. Here's my orange, and as you can see, they just kind of like merge into each other, and it looks really cool. So that's why they don't have to be so perfect. There's my yellow. There's my green. There's my blue. Okay, so now I've finished it, and they look so cool. Um... So now you're going to want to bake them uh, for the Betty Crocker vanilla. Um, it says to bake the cupcakes for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll see you then. Okay, so my cupcakes are baking. And while you're doing that, you can start preparing the frosting. So we're going to do exactly what we did with that, except we're going to use frosting. So going to take your food colorings and your icing, you're going to separate it into six different bowls, stir it up, and then you'll have six different types of icing. Alright, so the cupcakes are done and they look sweet. They're so rainbow and tie-dye-ish and they really turned out well. I think I might have put a little bit too much, like that one turned out really good, but like maybe that one might be a little droopy, but oh well. So, yeah, so like I said, prepare the frosting, and then I'll show you how to do that. So I divided my frosting into six different bowls, just white, and they're both pretty empty. Uh, yeah, so my dad and my brother are playing war, so that's probably why it's... There he is. 
Um, so, uh, here's my red icing. Then I'm going to make orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. <laughs> Guys, be quiet. Okay, Jack, 30 seconds of quiet. Okay, I got them to be quiet. Now, I've divided up my icing colors. So, I have red. Whoops, where's the yellow? Oh, no. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And now you can use a pastry bag or a Ziploc. I like using a Ziploc and I just cut the corner and you're going to uh, line up your colors and you're just going to layer them up. Alright, so I've loaded all my icing into my Ziploc bag and then I just cut the corner so it'll come out. And I just kind of, I don't know, just kind of put it in there so it's all rainbowish. Then you're just going to ice the cupcake and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. You can ice it however you like. Okay, so this this is what my finished product cupcake looks like. It's in my fridge. But there's one. And they looked really cool. So there they are.